if my songs go pop, pop, pop. What makes you think I'm not okay with that? I took my backpack off, off, off. Ready to change the game and run the track. Y'all thinking I'ma fall off. I'm Thomas the Engine. Two seconds, you get your rocks off. That's why they said you're all soft. So I paint over the scene like I'm Bob Ross. I got wee songs. Hello, I am Anna, and today we will be walking the Arboretum to find out how people in Bellingham utilize the space. What do I do here? Uh, yes. In Bellingham? No, in the Arb. Oh, I'm walking the dog. You like to walk the dog? I love to walk the dog. How often do you walk the dog? I walk the dog every day, but not up here because he was attacked by some dogs up by the lookout. So he is hesitant to do this, but I'm trying to get him back into wanting to come up here. What's your name? Uh, I'm Ed. And Ed, uh, what do you do in the ARB? Uh, I just like to come here, you know, get away from like class and everything and, you know, have a smoke every once in a while. But yeah, it's just a relaxing place where I can just go sometimes and hang out. And uh, what activities do you do when you're in the ARB? Uh, go for walks, runs, uh, hang out with friends. Uh, it's just kind of a nice getaway into the forest, you know, out of the city a bit. Yeah. So it doesn't mean a lot to you? Oh, it's the best. Yes, why? Be, well, it's at my back door. I mean, it's virtually my backyard because I uh -huh. live right on Jersey Street, so mm -hmm. I've lived here 32 years, and um, it's the, well, for being in the city, it, yeah. it's the best. Like but your favorite thing about it? The favorite thing is spring, the, spring. when all these things burst out. Um, I love the rhododendrons that are, um, there's some wild rhododendrons, I don't know if they were planted, but I love those. Um, I love that you can just walk and get lost and it's all good. Mm -hmm. it's just good. Uh, is there a specific place you like to come when you visit the Arb? Um, I check out the watchtower usually. Yeah? Especially if it's a nice day, clear. Do um, you think that the Arb holds a special meaning to you? Yeah, I mean it's a, it's, a, it's a spot really close to campus in nature, you know. I mean it's, it's not big, but it's big enough to have its own kind of uh, kind of vibe and, and spirit of the forest, you know, so it's a nice spot to get to and read, relax, whatever. Like this? Do you guys like it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. gorgeous. Oh man. Why do you like it? I love uh, nature. Yeah, I just like being outside. Like so. being outside. Yeah, There's lots of different paths. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice to be able to like go to school and then relax and have like a place in nature to come and be free. Okay. When Stahili talks about context through time, my first thought was about the hill. It's not the same as it was yesterday, and it won't be the same tomorrow. Everything about it is different. The plants, trees, rocks, bugs, they have always been here. They have lived here th through most of Bellingham's history. Some might be new and some might be old, but they are an important part not just for the Seam Hill, but also for its history. You see, I don't think that there's a sole purpose to the Seam Hill. Some people use it for the same things while others use it for their own purposes. They smoke, they laugh, they hang out, they go running. Each individual has their own thoughts and their own ideas on what the purpose is. You saw Melody, you saw her, that she has been living here for 32 years and she falls in love with the Arb every single time she comes and visits. And then you see the freshmen who've been here for about half, a little more than half a year and they love it. And I love that. I love that everybody can enjoy and love the Seahome Hill for what it is. It's not just trees and it's not just a bunch of trails that somehow lead to some, some place differently. It's about the connections that it helps people make. It's about making the memories last because once, once you go out and try to make an adventure with your friends, that adventure usually leads to more adventures, which leads to sometimes fucking up and start laughing. And then you think back and you're like, wow, I should not have done that. Or, wow, we should have done something different. But no one ever says, wow, I'm never going back there again.